Good evening to our studio audience and thanks to those tuning in from our various network affiliates around the world in what was described as a watershed moment by the former city city director shortly before her rather abrupt departure. She had claimed that to be contrary. We are responsible. We are responsible for some pretty dramatic, pretty public mistakes. From testing to data to communications, we are responsible. Surely we have learned by now that we underestimate this virus at our own peril. Those were the words of the director of the crew at the end of December 2021. End of December 2021. And I believe that it was Dr. Joshua Lederberg, the youngest awardee of the Nobel Prize, who had observed that in peer review literature that the viruses are routinely subject to phenotypic modification by the host cells. And from time to time, the viruses incorporate host genes in their standard genomes and vice versa. A reference often, so very often, coupled with a quite often lifted out of context quote, especially during the great run of a virus possessive and etiology quite singular as described by some, that the single biggest threat to man's continued dominance on the planet is this old character virus. And that we do little better, we could do little better than to sit back and wait for an avalanche, which certainly appears to have occurred. Uh, we can use these quite thought-provoking comments as a convenience again this evening to our game show. So much delight for our audiences joining us at home and here in the studio. And we would very much like to welcome back to Family Feud Pandemic After Action Review Edition our remaining and surviving as it were, contestants, experts from the pinnacles of achievement in their respective professional fields, who will now have a chance, king of the mountain style, to compete to the last man standing, like a gladiator deathmatch, fighting for their lives in the arena, for the pleasure of our viewing audiences, at least in my carriage. Pleasure. Now, for those just now tuning in, for very first time. Let's just familiarize ourselves with these game rules. This is not quite a fight club where there are no rules. No kidding, below the belt. And our competing contestants will be provided some clues about a given topic. And in this post-pandemic challenge, all questions shall, of course, quite naturally, if I may use the pun, be related to the COVID-19 pandemic most recently and abruptly uh, terminated by declaration. After listening to these clues, it is their responsibility incumbent upon them as recognized experts in their respective fields to return as quickly as they can with a response. Jeopardy style answering in the form of a question. Very easy. Manikum facilitate. So let's begin now with the first round shall we? Are our contestants ready to mount the challenge and uh, ready to fight the mass? To the depths, at least figuratively. And here we go with our very, very first clue. Gentlemen, listen very carefully, for we require your utmost attention. This is the clue, usually measured in nanometers and not microns. Usually measured in nanometers and not microns. Next clue. Most abundant biological particles in the entire world. Most abundant biological particles in the entire world. Quite extraordinary, like looking up at the stars. Require a living host for replication and reproduction. Quite a symbiotic existence. Require a living host for replication and reproduction, a symbiotic existence. Unable to be cultivated in vitro until 
2012, around the year of the MERS outbreak, at least in the open source, unable to be cultivated in vitro until 2012, a study published by the Chinese uh, doing work either in Yunnan or in Wuhan. Usually just a single strand of... Yes, Professor. Your response. What are bacterial parties? Did you say bacterial parties? Yes, that is correct. What are bacterial parties? Is it on the big book? Bacterial parties. Science says... I believe it was Nobel Prize awardee Joshua Lerberg who had observed that the bacterial fungus are of course no threat to public health. However, as so very close as it may have been, Professor, uh, unfortunately our judges will not permit me to give you credit for that response. Viruses. There must be some mistake. Viruses. That this is outrageous. The correct answer. The correct answer is viruses, the most abundant biological particles in the world. That is what our judges had wanted to hear, sadly. And in this elimination round, I regret to say that we are so glad to have had your participation in this competition, and hope you enjoy the wonderful parting gifts we have for our contestants that are departing. Thanks for joining us, Professor. Professor, please make sure that information does get out to your class. Gentlemen, please assist the Professor and let's move on to the next round of clues in this fight to the death. This is a little more difficult. I will say this very slowly. Over 3,000 types that infect mammals or mammalian species. Over 3,000 types that infect mammals or mammalian species. Over 3,000 types that infect birds or avian species. Over 3,000 Types that infect birds or avian species. Anyone? Anyone other one? No threat at all to amphibian or reptilian species. No threat at all to amphibian or reptilian species. Largest number of families and largest in the genome mass amongst viruses. Largest numbers in families. Moribili virus. Moribili virus. In the form of a question, please. Oh, what is the Moribili virus? Is it on the big mold? Morbillivirus. Morbillivirus. Survey says... Still, that is a good answer. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm a doctor. For the love of God, I rely upon many scientific Dr. experts. Hello. And you shall While hear from my true efforts. that after outbreaks, the CDC has yet to recover viable samples of isolated morbillivirus which falls within the family of the paramyx of Vibridae, measuring smaller than 5 microns. Generally, the largest in genome mass are the coronaviruses, but we do know that exception. Our judges will not permit me however, to give you credit for that response. In fact, I believe it was Wee G who had published a not widely reported in the press study early in the pandemic that had found for this novel virus a quite aberrant from nature rip Chilean colon usage bias, specifically an opinion colon usage bias. Quite sadly, that is all the time that we have for now, and we shall be right back after these messages. This message was approved by Major Mike Webb. Honest.
This has been a Filmways presentation, darling. And y'all go back now. You. Yeah.